Sean from Tested, and we're here at Maker Fair with Joseph Prusa. Uh, Joseph, nice to see you. Nice to see you too. So we were lucky enough to get a kit that Simone and I and Joel Telling, the 3D printing nerd, built, and we had a great time doing that. And we we're a little disappointed we didn't get the multi-material. So we have that today. Let's talk about this a little bit. This is a upgrade that's built directly on the i3, right? Yes, it's a simple upgrade. You upgrade every Mark II or Mark II S. Mm -hmm. uh, we just started shipping it this Friday. We got a bit, little bit late because uh, there were some uh, bugs to figure out. Mm -hmm. But fortunately, yeah, this is the, the release version. Yeah. And the idea is very simple. If you have a 3D printer with more nozzles, you have to always align them. Mm -hmm. And once the second one is not used, uh, it oozes. And with more nozzles, you get more troubles. So what we uh, thought of is that we can actually use one nozzle, one, one extruder, and feed four material uh, not at the same time, we have the splitter here, which uh, enables us to pull out the material which is not used and put in the new one. Right. And by this, uh, by doing this, we do not have to do any uh, uh, any retractions or anything. It's it's perfectly aligned, and yeah, you can even use different materials, not only the same uh, same color of one. So you can use the PLA with PVA for support, mm -hmm. or you can even mix in some some flexible stuff. So this is like the holy grail because normally with the dual the the multi-material printers you get maybe two heads. Yeah. So you could do one color in support, or you could do two colors, and that's yeah. about it. Yeah, uh, we we could actually scale this up to even more, but right now I think the the four is a good compromise with three colors and one uh, one soluble support. And we'll see where it goes from here because uh, right now, at the moment, there's not many models available, even for dual head, uh, dual head printers. So we'll see how uh, how customers will tackle that. Now, typically, one of the problems around the dual printing is that you have that uh, you get that little booger when you're changing colors, or like, do you have any problems with that, or is it have a little bit? Does it have to clear the nozzle? Uh, when it switches colors. So, so we have uh, this uh, wipe tower. Mm -hmm. Which, uh, which is made uh, between the prints, but it is only used when it's needed. So you can see um, uh, you have like the sparse info. So when you are clearing the nozzle from one material to the other, you extrude some plastic, but your nozzle is perfectly primed and ready to start printing. So you do not have any artifacts which uh, would make the quality suffer. Great. And if you already have an i3, uh, whether it was the pre-built one or the kit, this is an upgrade that you can yes. actually buy yes. and add to that. Yes, uh, I think it's spent $299. Okay, and on the software end, do you need how complicated it is in the software to handle all those different uh, materials? Uh, it is quite easy. Uh, I mean, you cannot print all the materials at the same time. For example, ABS and PLA wouldn't work well together. But you just load uh, the object, a uh, load multi-material object, to the slicer Prusa edition. You mm -hmm. choose which part, which will be which extruder. You select the material, and you uh, you have the G code ready. Right. Well, uh, we're going to take a look at some of these beautiful prints you have here, and hopefully, we'll be showing this off more on tested later. Yes. And uh, we'll keep in touch with you, and any updates, we'll let you know. Thanks.